Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, uh, Congressman Faso, for your, your leadership and also for uh, the great comments from our Congressman Collins in, uh, in the Western New York District uh, for coming up with this, this really great piece of legislation. It's no secret that New York residents pay among the highest taxes in the nation. Combined state and local taxes consume over 13 percent of the average household income. Decades of tax and spend policies have depleted the wallets of hardworking middle class families, forced many small businesses, including family farms, once a tradition in New York, into closure, and driven lifelong residents out of our state in record numbers forever. These burdensome taxes, coupled with crushing regulations, have led to the worst business climate in the country. Small businesses, which create over 70 percent of the new jobs, face the threat of extinction in New York. Year after year, New York continues to be ranked the highest in outmigration in the entire nation. Nearly 200,000 people have left the Empire State, and two of the worst hit regions, the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Tier, are located in the 22nd District. Additionally, the two largest cities in our district, Utica and Binghamton, are ranked last and second to last in economic growth. Hardworking families and our job creators desperately need tax relief. That's why I'm working with the New York delegation, uh, the Republican con congressional delegation, um, to lead the charge by co-sponsoring the Property Tax Reduction Act, uh, co uh, sponsored by Mr. Faso and Mr. Collins and co-sponsored sponsored by the rest of us. Um, as a note, I'd just like to mention that as a, a former member of the State Assembly, I did sponsor uh, legislation very similar to the type of relief being proposed uh, in this wonderful piece of legislation uh, known as um, the Property Tax Reduction Act. Uh, that legislation was co-sponsored uh, in a bipartisan way with Democrats who also recognized the need to change the, the, the paradigm in New York State. The Property Tax Reduction Act will bring the largest local mandate relief initiative to my area in my lifetime, potentially saving the taxpayers in the 20 district, 22nd District more than 160 $7 million annual, annually in unfunded uh, state Medicaid mandates. This bill relieves county governments from the burden forced upon them by Albany bureaucrats led by our governor. Currently in New York State, uh, the law requires uh, approximately about $2.3 billion, it was, as was mentioned earlier, uh, that goes toward, uh, that's taken from our local county governments and given to the state for Medicaid program. This amounts to about $140 million per week. In 2015, Oneida County was forced to divert more than 80 percent of the property tax levies uh, to subsidize Albany's bloated budgets. This amounts to $54.4 million annually in Oneida County losses every year to cover the cost of their share of Medicaid. In Broome County, more than half of the county's $70 million in property tax revenue, about $37 million, was taken from the county last year and diverted to Albany, a loss of more than, as I said, $37 million. This is money that would otherwise go to reduce property taxes, fund our schools, make much-needed improvements to infrastructure, and support our first responders, among many other programs uh, that we need on the county level. Uh, combined property and sales tax rates as a percentage of value rank many of New York's counties uh, among the highest tax counties in the nation, with Oneida County being ranked 19 in the latest Tax Foundation survey. No other state in the county abuses its local governments and taxpayers quite like Albany does in order to fund one of the most expansive um, and really overly generous Medicaid programs in the nation. New York's Medicaid program has the highest incidence of fraud, abuse, and waste in the country. If other states can provide high-quality health care to vulnerable citizens without taking advantage of local taxpayers, so can New York. The imposition of over $2.5 billion in Medicaid costs onto the counties is nearly seven times costlier than what counties in California pay, despite having higher enrollments and expenditures. The Property Tax Reduction Act requires Governor Cuomo and the state to pay for the, to, for the state to pay its full share, share of the Medicaid program that it should be paying in full, and force it, that, it also, that it forces onto the county and local governments. This bill does not propose cuts to the programs in the 22nd District. Rather, it requires Albany to put its fiscal house in order. Uh, it requires Albany to take stock of the money that it's been using uh, really in, in putting our, our, sending these unfunded mandates to our strapped local governments. 
This legislation, uh, as the sponsor has indicated, gives the state ample time to realign the budget, to rein in out-of-control spending, and to give the taxpayers relief once and for all on the county level. If Governor Cuomo chooses to hurt the citizens by slashing programs that upstate New Yorkers want and need with a mammoth state budget that was over $152 billion this year for fiscal year 17-18, that's his choice, not something that's being brought on by that act. His failed leadership continues to produce budgets laden with unconstitutional executive pork and wasteful spending. In fact, let's just take a look at a couple of the, th of the items. Over $370 million in uh, Albany's budget this past, uh, past few years was spent on the corrupt and mismanaged Startup New York program, which produced only a third of the promised jobs. Over $1.3 billion in tax breaks have been handed over to Hollywood filmmakers in the last two years. In all, Albany spends over $8 billion in taxpayer money on a job creation program with little results to show for it. The bill will simply force the state to work over a period of several years to responsibly reduce the unfair and unreasonable Medicaid liability that has been forced onto our counties. Upstate New York is in desperate need of property tax relief. This bill is the first step in making a relief reality. County governments across the state have voiced their support of this legislation. While hardworking New York families struggle, Albany sits idly by. That's why we're taking the lead on the federal level to help revive our region and bring business and people back to beautiful upstate New York. By giving county governments a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to reduce property taxes, this bill will save millions of dollars in hard-earned tax, do tax dollars for working families on behalf of the 22nd District. I just want to thank my colleagues for really taking the effort to bring this to the floor and showing true leadership in the face of, of difficult circumstances in finding a real solution, uh, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for all of us as taxpayers in New York to finally have some relief, to grow our business community, and to find some kind of dynamism in our economy. So I yield, I thank again the sponsors, Mr. Faso and Mr. Collins, and I yield back. Thank